Roux-en-Y gastric bypass surgery is one of the most successful treatment strategies for diabetes accompanying morbid obesity. Long-term diabetes remission rates of 83% have been reported. These findings have led to the suggestion that the surgery improves diabetes by somehow altering digestive hormones, but this interpretation ignores the fact that they're placed on a severely limited diet for a week or two after the operation just to recover from the major surgery. And just severe caloric restriction alone can improve diabetes. So is it the diet or the surgery? We didn't know until this study. They put diabetics in the exact same post-surgery diet with and without the actual surgery. They found that their diabetes improved rapidly on the surgery diet before they had the surgery. In fact, the improvement in blood sugar control was better on the diet alone than after the surgery. Blood sugar control improved better in the absence of surgery, suggesting the whole surgical diabetes reversal is not due to the surgery at all, but just the diet people had to go on in the hospital during recovery. So the clinical implication is that non-surgical interventions have the potential to resolve diabetes just as much as major organ rearranging surgery. If you remember my video about diabetes as a disease of fat toxicity, you'll understand what is occurring. Type 2 diabetes can be understood as, it, uh, as a potentially reversible metabolic state precipitated by the single cause of chronic excess intra-organ fat, too much fat, in the cells of the liver, pancreas, and muscles. Within seven days of eating like 600 calories a day, by either dietary intervention or bariatric surgery, fasting glucose levels can normalize, blood sugars can normalize, thanks to a fall in liver fat. Here's a CT scan showing a 35% reduction in liver volume as all the fat is cleared out. Unbelievable. And then the body starts pulling fat out of the pancreas, and when the cause of diabetes goes away, the diabetes goes away the insulin-producing beta cells of the pancreas had woken up. Clearly, the beta cells are not permanently damaged in type 2 diabetes, but are merely inhibited. They report reversal of diabetes up to 28 years after diagnosis. So diabetics motivated enough to starve themselves can regain normal health. Uh, this information should be available to all people with type 2 diabetes, even though it's you know, unlikely many will be motivated enough to escape from the disease, and it's not easy to not eat. Diabetics should know that if they don't reverse their diabetes, their future health is in jeopardy, although the serious consequences must be balanced against the difficulties and privations associated with starvation diets. Uh, for many people, this may prove too high a price to pay. I mean, it's hard to voluntary res voluntarily restrict food intake that much. OK, how about involuntary food restriction? That's what stomach stapling surgery is. When you essentially remove someone's stomach, they're forced into compulsory food restriction. Of course, major surgery carries major risks, both during the operation and afterwards. There can be bleeding, leakage, infections, erosions, herniations, severe nutritional deficiencies. Surgery or starvation? There's got to be a better way, and in fact, there is. Instead of changing the quantity of food eaten, either voluntarily or involuntarily, is it possible to reverse diabetes by changing the quality of the food? We'll find out next.